Hello everybody, this is Aquatami and we're back with 100 McNally Babies. This is 100 Baby Challenge in The Sims 4. This is part number 47. And currently, Mary is extremely pregnant. She is in her third trimester, just waiting for the time to pass by. She's fishing a little. The triplets, who are already young adults, but have not quite moved out yet, are just hanging around, really. This one, who is doing nothing right now, is probably going to go up into space. Why don't you come use the bathroom and then go explore space? You know, just thought, just a thought. You still haven't made it into bed. It is 6.30 in the morning and this one, which I told to go back to bed I don't know how long ago, has just now made it back into bed. Nope, didn't make it to bed. Go take a nap. Nap. You're gonna have to go to school. <sighs> when you finish your food, go ahead and repair this for us. Well, we caught a catfish. It's not what I was after, but we caught a catfish. Let's see where our catfish is. Um, there's our new catfish. We'll throw that in there. Let's see. You said you found something. Oh, you found another psychedelic rock. Technical difficulties. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lauren is off on another amazing adventure in space. Or she would be if her ship was actually moving, which it is not. An error message on the main control screen informs her the ship's dynatherm drivers need to be updated. I guess we're trying to update since I'm not giving another option. <clears throat> I don't know what how safe it is to update software while you're using the spaceship, but whatever. Catch 22. When Lauren clicks the update button to update the dynothermic driver, a helpful message appears saying the request cannot be completed because the dynotherm driver ha has not been updated. Call tech support from outer space. <laughs> Just yeah, let's call let's call tech to support. Oh, I can't do it. I want to keep that pink there so bad. You found another one. Is that all you can find these days? I don't know what I have to do to get the rest of the microscopic samples. Calling tech support. Lauren Hill's tech supports on the comm. A recorded voice says, Your call is important to us. We will be with you in one galactic cycle. A galactic cycle is a measurement of time equal to 394 sim years. Infuriating music plays. Reboot the dioptherms. Oh my goodness. What are you up to, Mary? You caught anything else? Nope. Okay, scounge through that for us. Reboot. Ah, yes. Turn it off and turn it back on. The preferred tech solution of professional rocket scientists everywhere. The diatherm sputters and a new message appears. Your diatherms will not shut down properly. Would you like to restart your diatherms in safe mode? Yes. Why not? Oh, is it? Is it? It's time, dude. You're going to have to get up from your nap. I'm sorry if you didn't get enough sleep. You should have gone to bed when I told you to go to bed. Lauren engages safe mode, and the diatherms immediately explode out of the ship. That se hardly seems a safe way. Seems safe at all. However, it does clear the error message that is what is important. Unfortunately, landing with minor engine breach and no dome thermos is insanely dangerous. So we didn't get anything out of that one. But she made it home safely. I guess that's what matters.
Why don't you come in here and why don't yeah, you use this on. for a while and see if you come up with better results? And one of y'all, I think you perhaps should be the one to go back into space because you've got like a bunch of knowledge now. Dude, you could put that up. Why are we catching minnows? Maybe we should try over here. I know, is there not any good fish at this hole? There's some tuna. There's a puffer fish. I don't, I don't. I know there's probably not what I'm really after, but there's got to be something better than minnows. Just examine the water. Because quite frankly, I don't want any minnows. We'll eat almost anything as long as it's organic. Sage. Use some sage. You're tired? But I don't want you to be tired. I want you to go into space. Are you tired? Nope, you're not tired. You can go into space. You can brew some coffee. I don't have any babies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I said I was going to delete this one, and I was not lying. It's out of here. If we have triplets again, we'll just put another one back in. Have you caught anything useful, Mary? No. That'd be a definite no. We've caught a perch. We're catching little teeny tiny crap fish. I don't think there's even anything in there. Turbulence ahead. Leonardo carefully guides the rocket into orbit over a small alien world. But it's clear right away that something is wrong. Ionic interference in the planet's atmosphere is causing havoc with the ship's primary systems. Leonardo decides to attempt an emergency landing, which is smart since he has no other choice. Okay. Yeah, there's not anything good here to fish. Let's see what's over here. What did you catch? Oh, you caught a cichlid? Stuck in the muck. With the stabilizers Leonardo installs, he's able to retain some control of the ship, but he barely misses a formation of sharp-looking rocks and lands roughly in the swamp a few miles beyond. Struggling onto dry land, Leonardo wonders how he's going to get his rocket out of the muck and back into space. Well, that's fun. I don't need a cichlid, though. I need... Yeah, nothing good looks good over there either. Hmm. What about over here? What do we got over here? The Green Man. As the rocket sinks another inch into the swamp, Leonardo suddenly spies a funny little green man hobbling over to him. Amazingly, the creature speaks perfect simlish. Help you, I can, he rasps. Well, almost perfect simlish. He offers to raise Leonardo's ship from the swamp if he can pass a certain trials. Leonardo agrees. Because, uh, again, what choice does he have? Time for the tr first trial. It is, rafts the creature. Pick a number between one and ten. Four, says Leonardo. Well done. Now the second trial. Hey, this is easy. The creature continues. Make me some lunch, you will. Leonardo could forage the surrounding jungle, or there might be some kind of fish in the swamp. Uh, search the swamp or search the jungle? That's my options. Search the swamp. Hmm. 
What are you up to? Let's see. A party right now at the nightclub? Uh, no. Not right now. We're waiting on a baby to be born. So, you know, it's not a best of times. Wonder where I could put a fish tank. You know, just a little one. Well, they're not little. Like right there, maybe? Hmm. Is it under this stuff? Yeah, it is. I don't want that one. Maybe this one. But it'd have to be in, like, gray or... Or white like that color would be good probably what does this one look like oh, it's smaller oh yeah I like that one that's the way to go the final trial from the swamp the owner posed some kind of fish the creature smiles typically given only during the mating ritual this set this is, he says, but ignore that for now, I will. The, tr the final trial is to explore the evil cave. The creature gives Leonardo a weapon that oddly stresses and oddly stresses that he will not need it. Gives him a weapon but stresses he will not need it. Take the weapon. Which is probably the failing, the whatever, whatever. Open. Now I've lost my angelfish. Put in angelfish of, of excellent quality. Average. No, I don't want any average. Can't be having average stuff. I've got a perch, but no, I don't want a perch there. I, have, I can put a cichlid in with it. But I really just wanted it for the angelfish. Because you never know when you might need an angelfish. You know, somebody dies on you. Whatever. The perch can go in the fridge. Are y'all both cleaning out? Nega Leonardo. Deep in the evil cave, Leonardo encounters, encounters his ultimate challenge. Nega Leonardo. It is the opposite of everything Leonardo stands for. Luckily, Leonardo brought that weapon, so he quickly dispatches, dispatches it and heads to the surface. Now the creature can help you get home. That's weird. Is it just me, or did you have, like, very little choice in this one? We got another perch. I think we're eating a lot of perch in the near future. The creature offers Leonardo a special treasure for passing the trials. Then Leonardo watches in amazement as the cre creature points to the rocket, which seems to lift out of the swamp as if guided by an invisible force. Now Leonardo can finally fly home and leave this weird planet far behind him. Oh my god, we found it! Leonardo found treasure. He has obtained a cow, ber cow plant berry and a unified fruit object. Oh my gosh, that's my first UFO. Boy, you done good. These triplets have been the best. The best on getting my collections done. Let's see. Leonardo, give that to your mom. Give that to your mom. Don't lose it, whatever you do. Give that to your mom. Give that to your mom. I can't believe I found one. Ooh. Bills have been delivered to your mailbox. You owe $7,825. Eesh. What do we catch? Oh, we got another tuna? Excellent. Okay. That's enough for that for now. Come over here and grab the mail. Come over here and get the mail. Where's that tuna? I'm going to put the tuna in the fridge for later consumption. 
And you can be turned off. And you can be turned off. Which kid wants to go into space now? How are, how are you doing? You're doing pretty good? Why don't you use the bathroom first? And then you can go explore space. What are you up to? Oh, we already have that one, but thank you for trying. Did we get the, um... We got our plaque! <clears throat> We're gonna put our plaque. The Gargantuan Telescope. The Gargantuan Telescope is a prestigious trophy awarded only twice monthly to the special few who have trawled the night sky for magazine cover worthy space vistas and or Simlister Prize Celebrity Alien Paparazzi Pictures. Well done you, Cosmic Voyeur you. Cool. Alright, go ahead and pay the bills. I just sold the, the dragon fruit, so we got some cash. Aww. Why don't you come in here and why don't you cook a gourmet meal? Um, we could make some trout, but we have a... Why don't you do a meatless Monte Cristo instead because we have a vegetarian in the house. Hun, you are getting so big. There she goes. We gotta up that rocket ship soon. Now, I may have to send you up a few times. We're going to have to plant our UFO. Where can we plant it? Oh, it's small. Doesn't matter. We'll go plant it over here in our garden. It is our most prized possession. They're supposed to be worth a lot, too. A lush planet. Beep, beep. Leonardo's, Leon, Leonardo, Lucinda's rocket ship has detected an unexpected object on the horizon. As she gets closer, she can't believe her eyes. Haven't we just done this one? Green billowy treetops, crystal blue streams. Could it be the mystical lush planet? Attempt a landing. We've already done this one recently. I don't know if I read this one out, but we've done this one lately. 30 blackberries. Uh, land near the ruins. We're going to attempt to do the exact same thing and see if we get the exact same results. I appreciate that, dude, but why don't you come in here and work on... Um... Leave the artifacts. How much was this one worth? Ten dollars? Return home. Yes, I wanna I wanna keep this one. Because it's a better quality. We got an uncommon space rock. We got a different space rock this time. We got a space rock again, but we got a different space rock. Hmm. Because last time we got that one on the floor. This time we got this one. Cool. We got this one. Last time we got this one. This time we got this one. Excellent. Is anybody hungry? We cooked some food. Are you hungry, dear? No, not really. I didn't even tell them to study hard. You 
cube. Ooh. I'm thinking, I'm rethinking my, this double fridge system hasn't really worked out well, and I'm rethinking, Legenzo. I may go ahead and sell this one. Because it's not upgraded either. Have this one been upgraded? Yep. How much can I sell it for if I sell it now? Okay. We'll sell it. Put the fridge there. Can we get a... Um, can we get one that looks like it mm, might belong? No, there's not anything that's going to look anywhere near like it ought to belong there. And it's a one and a half gap. So it's so weird. Like I need to pull the, win the wall out again and I don't want to pull the wall out. Let's do this one in a corner. And then let's do it in a in a end piece. Can I let's see? We dot move objects on. Oops. <laughs> we dot move objects on. Sure. And then let's get it in a regular one. That looks interesting. And then let's get this weird funky side one again. That looks weird, doesn't it? It's that bit right there that looks I'm actually fine with the white parts, but the the little like that part I'm okay with. But I don't think you could just keep stacking. Well, I guess you could keep stacking. Because that's actually kind of interesting. Oh, look at the, uh, look at all the stuff going though. Okay, let's do it like that. Let's see. Would I like it better in white? Probably. Let's do it all in white. But maybe put, no, maybe let's move this one down to here. Put two of those there. Move that to there. So we have more space to set stuff on. It looks a little weird with the windows there. That one looks very weird. Is that supposed to be a corner or an end? It doesn't look like an end. I know it's supposed to be an end, but it looks weird the way it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Okie dokie. What is it? Okie dokie pokey? Uh, I don't know. I'm just crazy at this point. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. I just felt the need to do that. And look how it's not. Does that bug anybody else? It's like. It's like can't you just not have a space there? Okay, it's not anything crazy looking. I just don't want there to be a big old space there. Is that too much to ask? Probably. Now I feel like I need something in that corner. It looks very bare. Like I need, I need something in the corner. Leonardo has found something. What has he found? Oh, you found one of those prints. The hoop, hoop plankton. I feel like I need something in that corner. A flower, a plant. No. Shh. 
sure Luciano <laughs> yeah sure grades are up <gasps> we got an A student oh you know what that means we search for the mystery cake and we find the mystery cake oh he's so uncomfortable but first you must come and blow out your candles. You must come and taste the frosting. Do you have all your skills up? You do. Then you're in good shape. Luciano Matthews. Why do you have a thing on your head? I don't even know. Mm -hmm. All right, Murdoch. Time to become a teen. What is his first one? Do I even remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's gloomy. I should remember that. And randomize. And now. <gasps> oh, poor. It, it, that always, they always add on. Now he's also clumsy. And he wants to catch a fish. He's going to be a gloomy, <laughs> clumsy fisherman who is not wearing that outfit. <laughs> oh my. Murdoch, what the heck? I mean, just. Dude, what the heck? Your siblings have done so well lately, and then you're just like. I mean, I know your dad is Don Lothario, and he's a little out there sometimes, but no. This is unacceptable. Um, I'm afraid you're going to need to add some birthday cake candles to that. And we're going to have to like. Um, um, oh, me. Come over here and grab you some coffee. Because you're about to flame out. And um, we're going to give your these to your brother in case he decides he wants to play with them. You never did. Get some coffee, dude. Just get some coffee. Did we ever finish this one? Oh, yeah. He, they got a thing. I remember now. Now, we need... Oh, I could put that in the corner. It would look awful. No, no. I'm not going to do it. We need a decorative... Oh. Oh, we have new... Yeah. Okay. We need, like, a decorative something to go in that corner. Either a decorative something or a plant. Yeah, that would be a little bit big for the corner. Just saying. Um, decorations. Let's see. If we went for a plant, we could get like a something like that. Which actually doesn't look bad. To be honest. Why did you just jump like that? Did I tell you to jump like that? Pretty sure I didn't. We could only do something like that if we raised it up. We could put something like that on the end. It'd have to be in a different color though. Oh, that's pretty. Ba, 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 ba. Just cause you can. Sometimes you gotta do stuff just cause you can. Pink? I'm thinking pink or else. Um, I'm not as fan of that. As fond of that. The yellow blends in too much. Uh, the blue is okay. The pink is okay. Yeah, green's alright. I like the white too. Believe it or not. We'll just go with the white. Just a little something something to make the place look a little more homey. <laughs> now, there. you pick up this t No. Drink this with desperation. You have things you have to do. Now, what are you doing? Oh, you're looking through the telescope? Okay, dude. That'll be alright. 
That's annoying. Oh, Mary, how long do you have until you're gonna have this kiddo? I can't, like, let you sleep in the tent and get that last day over. Because we both know what'll happen. And she's gonna have to, like, work out soon or something. She just is. Why don't you go take an... Well, she's getting her social life. We look at them legs. <laughs> we love you even though you're weird. She's going to bed on her own. We may have to get her to work out soon. She's she's starting to really fluff up. Which is okay. I'm not opposed. But, you know, just saying. Hey, dude. Menzu. Oh, it's the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Yeah, no. We'll just go into labor in the middle of it. What's the point in that? It's moments like this when two bathrooms just aren't enough. When everybody's trying to go to the bathroom at the same time. Come use this one, sweets. And then when you finish, let's change. I don't want to change Sim. I want to change their appearance. I don't even know what that change Sim means exactly. That's just kind of... Hmm. Okay. You, young man. Yeah, you need to use the bathroom too, but you need to do your homework. So why don't you do that? Okay, here we go. Let's get this youngin taken care of because he's looking something wicked wrong. Wicked wrong, wicked wrong. Ooga -roo. Now, this is a better look at young Noah. Isn't he cute? Dorbs, adorbs. And here's Murdoch's. He's actually quite handsome. I'm not sure that I like that hair on you though, because it shows a little more forehead than I'm 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 liking. That's a bit square. Uh, I think I like the square almost. Dude, that changes you dramatically. You look more like a Murdoch than that. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot of forehead, dude. Let's go with... Nope, too much. No, no, <clears throat> no. You look at that profile. And you are Don Lothario's son. Hmm. Well, alrighty then. Where are you? It's that other outfit that you've been wearing at. I mean, you weren't wearing that. You were wearing. See, this is what I don't understand about the game. This None of this is what you have on, like, in my kitchen right now. This is not near as bad as what you had on. This I can pretty much live with. I mean, the shorts don't match very well. But if we change the shorts to, like, a solid black or a solid dark something. There's not a black. There's a dark blue. Now we take the tennis shoes, which apparently you just had to have, and we change those to a black. See, that's not, I can live with that. It's a little weird, but I can live with it. In fact, I'm, I'm down with that. Now see, this, this doesn't work for me at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear me. You 
got some skinny legs. You've got skinny leg syndrome. I mean, something about just like you're you're very long this way, and sh I don't know. Don't know. Let's look. At, let's look at athletic wear. Mm -hmm. You're a baller. Okay, this technically doesn't match. Um, what if we put it in this? That that works better for me. And the hat. Is there one that's in like black and oh? Okay, I'm I'm all right with that. Yeah, I just like my colors to coordinate somewhat. I, I hate all those tank tops. I just either the tank tops or the other one of them has to go. Oh no. Um. What about? Ooh. And a different pair of pants. Not those. I like those pants better. Um. Alright. No. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that breaks our policy on no glasses and only one outfit. And this is just bad, dude. This is just bad. What the heck? It rolls under? Um. I haven't seen this or I haven't paid attention to this shirt before. I assume it's new with sitting living because, yeah. Um, okay. Um, if you are really uh -oh. into it, I'll, uh, I, I wouldn't wear it, but it, um, uh, okay, sure. Why not? That has to go. I don't like it when your dad wears it. I don't like it when you wear it. No. You have got a weird, it's your, your torso is, is, see, let's look at this. Oh. You're, you're very wide across your ribs, and you don't seem to have a waist. And you're f bent funny. It's like you've got sideways scoliosis or something. You're just, you're, you've got a funky body shape, child. Funky, funky body shape. Um, red. Yeah, we'll go with red. So this... Is Murdoch McNally, son of Don Lothario. He really doesn't look that much like his dad to me, but maybe. Huh. Anyway, that's him sorted. Good enough. Good enough for me. All I, I, but I've had this in my game for a while now, where kids come home from school in outfits that are not outfits I give them, and people go, I, they keep wearing outfits I don't give them. So I don't know where these outfits are coming from. It's really weird. It's freaking me out a little bit. Just a little bit around the edges. It's freaking me out. Because if I'm looking at him and he's wearing a funky outfit and I go in to alter his outfit, he should have that strange, weird outfit. He shouldn't have totally different outfits. I just don't get it. But whatever. Whatever. Da, 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 whatever. Ba, 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 whatever. Whatever turns you on. Whoa. And see? Look what he's got on now. Look what he's wearing. No. Outfit. Change outfit to that. Change outfit. Thank you. Now, you're hungry, so get you something to eat. And when you finish eating, no, I didn't say, I did not say to cook. I did not say to cook. Why are y'all all wanting to cook? There is food in this fridge. I am almost positive. I'm not going to go 100% positive, but I am almost positive. See? Look. Look at this. There are three of these right there. Go eat that. 
And then when you finish that, you can do your homework. Okay? Okay. Now, did you do your homework? <clears throat> your homework? You're doing your homework now. Okay, are you helping him with his homework? No. Why don't you use the telescope? If you've got time on your hands. Or use the microscope. I gotta figure out how to get the microscope. I gotta figure out how to get the rest of them on that. If we look at this. Got the space prints. Microscopes, we have 8 of 12, so we're missing four more. Gotta figure out how to find those. I'm missing we're missing the giant rock. And um missing a bunch of void critters. What was it? What did I come here to look for? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Gardening. Why don't we look at that while we're here? Oh look! Look! It's the first time I've ever got it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Kid, if you want to go play on it, go play on it. Don't disturb him while he's trying to do his, his homework. Do your homework and finish it, and then you can go and play. And see, I'm scared to send him to space, because I think she's going to go into labor soon. I don't know what happens if... <clears throat> if they're into space and she needs to go to the hospital, do you know what I mean? That seems like it could be a problem. Okay, let's come out here. And let's plant. Let's plant my unidentified fruit object. Look at it. So cool. No, don't eat it. Whatever you do, don't eat it. <clears throat> I may never see another. Oh, it's so pretty. I have to take pictures. I have to document for myself. Let's see, did you finish your stuff? You did. You're doing your stuff. You said you found something. Okay, I've got that one already. Oh, and I needed to look and see. Okay, it's planted. And it doesn't need to be watered. That's weird. Okay. We were going to check. I was going to check and see where you're at in handiness. Because some of the fish we need, we need to go through the, handi the thing to get. Our handiness is 10. Have we already unlocked that? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go upgrade the cargo bay. I missed The Sims 2 where you could just era up and it give you the last one so you only had to like retype the last little bit. I missed that. Let's see what she's found. She's found falling again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just keep finding the same ones over and over. And I don't know exactly what I need to do different. I really don't. What if she took plant samples? Like what if I used microscopic samples? But see, I've done that before. And the only thing I got out of the microscopic samples was that big one, <clears throat> that big one on the wall.
Apparently, I can't take microscopic samples out of that. <laughs> Click microscopic samples. We'll just collect a bunch of microscopic samples and then I'll send her in there for that. We'll see if that makes a difference because I just don't know. I'm about to get, I'm about to the point of having to move these kidlets out, but I want to get as much out of them as I can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that bad? I'm, that is bad, isn't it? I'm just using my children as slave labor. Analyze plant yeah. sample. Analyze plant Number sample. Four. Analyze plant sample. Analyze plant sample. Analyze plant sample. I'm so glad you managed to find something to eat that didn't hurt your vegetarian self. Okay. What kind of shape are you in? Yeah, you're a little tired, but not so bad. Um, what are your skills looking like? You're eight motor. Seriously? You're going off to bed? Okay. If you want to. This is the one I found analyzing a sample. Sell that. Um, Rhapsody in blue. Is that not the same one as that other one? Yep. And we'll just sell that. Because I would think that I would have to take like a sample of a crystal and a sample of other things, but I've not been able to get the option to take a sample of a crystal, but I know you can because I've had people in the science field do it. So I don't understand why it's not letting me take a sample of a mineral and a rock and a mineral and all that other sort of stuff. Okay, so that time I got that one again. It doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Don't do a knife block. Oh, I need to get your skills up. Well, actually, I don't... Um, I don't know. What skill do you want to work on? Oh, this part's going long, 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 long. I was hoping she was going to have a baby, but at this rate. Yep, we got the same ones over and over. <laughs> Alright, guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. Um, we will come back when Miss Mary goes into labor, I guess. Whenever that may be. So thank you so very much for watching, and I will see y'all back here real soon. Bye, everybody.